Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about varying force of interest. As we know, most of the cases financial transaction occurs at discrete time points, but there is a way to measure investment growth in a continuous time framework. Once we approach measuring continuous growth of an investment, we face this force of interest. It is a continuously compounded interest rate. This force of interest at time t, it is denoted by delta t, I mean sub t. This delta t, it is the ratio of a prime t by a t. a prime t, it is the first derivative of a t with respect to t. And from this expression, we can say the force of interest, I mean this delta t, it is the instantaneous rate of increase of the accumulated amount a prime t as a percentage of the accumulated amount at t it is a t that's why we call this as the force of interest In simple way, I can say this as the instantaneous rate of growth of investment per dollar invested at time point T So let's move ahead to see what is varying force of interest from these perspectives as well, I want to mention here that this expression or formula or equation, how we got this. If you visit my video, Mathematics of Finance 5, you will see I derived this expression from the scratch and you can get it from there. So this is our expression or formula. Here one interesting thing, it is written here d by dt ln a t. If we do differentiation of this ln a t, we get result as a prime t by a t. How it comes from this? If you go to calculus book, then you will see this ln fx, if we do differentiations, I mean first derivative, then the result will be f prime x by fx. Same way we wrote here, if we do differentiations of ln at, I mean first derivative of this function, then the result will be a prime t by at. As we know this is delta t, so surely we can write delta t equal to this. Because these and these are the same. Now if we do integrations on both sides of the equations where t2 greater than t1, I mean lower limit and upper limits on both sides then this will be as it is as we have written like that and equal to if we do definite integral procedures then we will get the result as this one 
I am not going to show you how we get this. You must know it if you do the integration. And this ln, this term, ln, this term having minus, so surely we can write as this in dividing form. ln a t2 divided by a t1. Now, this equal to ln this. In exponential term, we can write it as ln of this equal to this. So, surely we can write exponential of this equal to only this part. Now, what it says? The accumulated value at time t2 divided by the accumulated value at time t1, it is equal to 1 plus percentage increase in the accumulated value from t1 to t2. And this accumulation value factor at time t2 of an investment of one dollar made at time t1 we can write it as this accumulation value factor equal to this exponential t1 to t2 dt here delta t dt this is the expression we will use it for finding accumulation value factor very important formula Now solving this problem, if a fund accumulates at force of interest, say delta t equal to 0 0.02 t, find the annual effective rate of interest over 2 years and 5 years. So accumulation value factor 2, we know the formula, again we wrote here, equal to what? t1, t2, our limit is 0 to 2 because it is 2 years. So 0 to 2 and delta t we know 0 0.02 very easily doing integrations and putting the upper limit and lower limit value at an end we will get this e to the power 0 0.04 and this e to the power 0 0.04 we can write it is equal to 1 plus i to the power 2 because it is for 2 years. Then we can find i e to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 then 2.02 percent so annual effective rate of interest over two years it will be 2.02 percent for five years same procedure will follow and we will get e to the power 0 0.025 similarly we can write this e to the power 0.25 equal to 1 plus i to the power 5 this 5 years so easily we can find i equal to e to the power 0 0.05 minus 1 using calculator we can get 5.13 percent so it is the annual effective interest rate very easy way we can find it but need to use this formula or expressions A deposit of $100 is invested at time 2 years using a force of interest of del equal to 0 0.02 or 0 0.2 minus 0 0.02 t. Find the accumulated value of this payment at the end of 5 years. So here accumulated value at the end of 5 years start invested at time 2 years. So it is 2 to 5 that is why in this expression in this 
formula accumulation value factor we have to multiply it by p from the principal value principal amount to get the accumulated value so p into this factor accumulation value factor to be multiplied by this so to find this we have to write it is 2 to 5 years so 2 to 5 delta t delta t dt delta t we know this is the equation we will use this full expression and doing the integrations putting the lower limit upper limit value we will find this using calculator at an end we find it is 147.70 dollars very easy one. only the thing is we have to use this equations That's all for today. Thanks for watching.